Happy New Year, students. It's Ms. Ashley. It's good to have you back. I've got some great things planned for the rest of the year. I hope you're excited to be in my class again. Well, again, welcome back. It's Ms. Ashley. And that was a little YouTube video that I found uh, that I thought really would help you in case you didn't get the chance to do the countdown to the new year. Because I know not everyone stays up till midnight, but some of us do. So I want to talk to you today about the things we did before the new year. That's right. In 2019, what did we learn? And I've got a couple of things. Do you remember when I taught you about Google Docs? Yep, I had you, most kids, I should say most because kindergarten didn't, nor did preschool. But most kids learned about Google Docs and they learned how to format their words, change the colors in the background, and that's kind of fun. If you agree with that, would you raise your hand in the air right now? So I know that you're listening and I know what part of the video you're in. Good job. Now, in addition to this, we also learned about typing. We actually have a new section. Uh, you noticed it right before the end of 2019, typing practice. So anytime you'd like to go there and maybe see how fast you can type, you can click here for your speed and see if you got any faster than what you were last year. There's also some typing games in this section. This will be available all year long. So anytime we have some extra time, your work is done early, or even if you have Chromebooks in a different class, ask your teacher if you can go there. We also experimented with Google Classroom. And I'm happy to say that there were some first and second graders that started to do this as well. So if we haven't used it much with your group, please know that we're going to try harder. Third, fourth, and fifth grade, we've been using it a lot. You can see some of the assignments I sent to you. These were tinker assignments. Now I'm going to be sending you things like a weather assignment or a cut, copy, paste assignment. But in addition to all that good stuff, we did the Hour of Code, and we had a marvelous time, wouldn't you say? Yeah, Hour of Code. If that's your favorite, I want you to stand up now. If Hour of Code was like your all-time favorite thing that we've done, you may stand up just real quick and sit down. Good. As I scroll down to the lower part of my web page, you can see the Hour of Code is still there. Uh, we won't be doing it as lessons anymore, but certainly when there's extra time or when you're at home, you can check it out. Now, don't forget about my grade level sections over here on the side. Uh, if you go into first grade, you'll notice that they have ABC off, but some interesting things that we found, oh, kindergarten, if you go there, they have some different ones like Starfall, kindergarten links, and here's some, it's kind of like preschool meets kindergarten. You can check out other grade levels from time to time. And if you have special requests, other than say ABC off, that's already there, let me know. Look at fifth grade. They've got some PBIS manner stuff, and they have vocabulary. All right, so let's talk about the last couple of things uh, that we were doing that were quite fun. They were on my page, and it was at the end of class when we did a couple of these. Oh, you might remember Kahoot. If you like Kahoot, then you may, let's see, can you stand up and touch your toes, even if you have to bend down? Just stand up and touch your toes. It's funny. Thanks for making me laugh. And then we had word cloud fun where you stuck a word in at the end of class that represented something like a STEM word. And then we had Nearpod, which was showing the slideshow on your computer. And I know I love this the most myself, uh, but it's no longer available. We had a free trial, which means we only had it for about 60 days. So it won't work anymore. But look out for some more fun stuff. And I know you have your favorite songs, but I did something new. Are you ready to see my new stuff? My new stuff is right here. Ms. Ashley's favorite tech songs. That's right. When you click on here and you click the blue link, this is awesome. It's got all your songs right here. 
and you can either pick them individually or just hit play all like this. And if you sit here long enough, you'll see 20 minutes worth of songs. It's fun. We love a good playlist. We love a good playlist. All right. So then I also developed something with some of Miss Jenkins students, something called mouse practice. And this is going to be good for the little guys. Um, the older kids, like I said, you learn some stuff about Google Docs and some of us were learning about hyperlinks. That is when you click on one of these things that's underlined and you click on the website, it takes you to something. So it takes you to a place on the internet. So this is real cute. It's going to help the little kids Over get here, better Charlie. with their mouse movements. You can kind of see how they can click through. Some of them are real cute. You might want to check them out like Tea Party. Maybe you've already done that. I don't know. But you guys are probably already good with the mouse, even if you're in first grade. So this would just be for pure fun. All right. And then we have some other things on my web page that maybe, maybe I haven't talked about yet, like eBooks and read alouds. When you go to this document, if it works right, uh, you should be able, and we'll dress it up more as we go. Storyline Online will be there, a place called Just Books. And when you click it, it's going to take you to the actual books that you can look at, such as One Snowy Night. And most of them are reading it to you. It's rare that you actually have to read it yourself on here, but they're pretty good. Good graphics. And often you can find the same book in a library, either our library or the Strasburg library. So we're loving that. You can see I have one for a preschool. And then older students, you'd be able to hear an audiobook. That's pretty cool. Um, so you might have time to do that this first class back. Okay. In addition, I want to teach everyone. Oh, how could I forget QR codes? I took those posters. I put a QR code on each one. We're going to try to give you more opportunities to use QR codes and tablets this semester. Okay, so there you have marine biologist and pilot. So you can look forward to that. Um, we're going to have a lesson on cut, copy, and paste and weather. Those are two things I want to do. So when you say, what is the weather? Let's see if I can um, fix this up real quick. A little, little boo-boo there. You didn't see me do this, did you? Let's see if this will work. Is this the one on weather? I think it is. Now that looked a little rough, but I'm going to teach you how to look up the weather. I think any good student that's in grades three, four, or five should know how to look up the weather. So at night when your parents are going, ah, is it going to snow tomorrow? You can say, I'll look. On any device, I want to teach you how to go to these websites, type in your zip code, and come up with the weather so that you can offer to look it up for your family. I can see some of you running home now going, hey mom, can I look up the weather and give you the weather report? And you wanna do this right before you go to bed. Well, that's not good. There we are, Strasburg, see it come up? So when you do this, it'll tell you exactly what the weather is now, but more importantly, what it's gonna be like for the next 36 hours. In this case, they also have 10 days. So if you're like me, you're going to be on the lookout for snow and ice. I'm all about the snow and ice. So I enjoy this time of year way too much. I actually got a weather station myself. And if I get it hooked up, you'll be one of the first ones to look at it online. So this is totally cool. Love the weather. So back to that cut, copy, paste thing. I don't even think I can show it to you yet. Do you want me to try? I mean, it's so like top secret over here. It's probably in my drive. And I'm going to look up, mm, let's do snowman. Because you pop up, yep. I'll teach you how to build a snowman. And I'll teach you building it using cut, copy, and paste. So I have to like send this out to you, like maybe in, in Google Classroom. And then I teach you how to build him. So you can put in your own words. This is Google Slides going to really try in 2020 to get you good with Google Slides and introduce you to Google Sheets. So here's the eyes. And what you do is you just click one and you kind of control X and you come back and you kind of click on one and control V. Uh oh, I got two sets of eyes. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm all stirred up now. I just love this because I just teach you in a really fun way 